Hello everyone and welcome back to Phaedra. We're playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Um, rather unexpectedly, might I add. Can shut up. No more words from me. <laughs> I don't know which one's going to be uploaded first. Uh, probably this one. Okay. If I'm being honest. So, I won't, I won't yep, say nope, anything. <laughs> like you. <laughs> I'm a little salty. <laughs> I know, and I am enjoying your salt. Spoiler alert: I'm dumb. Yeah, and just so that, that, really no, that's not thing. a spoiler. What are you talking about? Well, that's common yeah. knowledge. Um, yeah. common. Knowledge. In another example of why I shouldn't be allowed to record on yeah. this channel. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. The people love you. Shulk, forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. It was no small feat. Not at all. I too must apologize for meddling in your customs. We should not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people. In the times to come, a ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mekon. Yes. The Mekon devastated our homes, and we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. You are honest. I do not want to hide our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. Shulk, you are the master of the Monado. But there is something that must be said. What is it? Long before our forefathers built this empire, two titans, the Bionis and the Makonis, fought a vicious battle. Is this known among Homs? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died killing many creatures in the process. Their remains became our worlds, bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. The Bionis shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Machna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself. And now, they disturb the ether. That disturbance can only lead to one thing. But why is this happening now? This is an I feel a disturbance in the fort, uh, ether. It is written. <laughs> Descendants of Antiqua, when the ether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs, <sighs> and heed the sword's return. Trap its power, and assure eternal prosperity. Smack the mic. Sorry. I'm just rejoicing in All how gorgeous the textures are in this the mechon's assault is They've just added the beginning a lot more little like and these events details. just little details when you used the sword against them we used it because we like bump maps and, and little engravings and stuff you could not survive on them just I gorgeous this fact. and a lot of the stuff here they've added a red speaks of these as well which just but if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the Hyentia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. Correct. Which is why the Mechon's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mechon. They must pay for what they did. Then you will have seen him too. <sighs> On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? I do not know. 
But our forefathers must have had good reason. We must trust their decision. Shulk, allow me some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. One more thing. Yes? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector. <laughs> But I would be honored if you would be her friend. This is my humble request. So cute! It would be my honor. The Telethia are on the move. Yes. Yes, I might be a degenerate. What the about it? <laughs> fool will go for the Monado. Ooh. What of the faces? Repairs to metal more, are complete. They add more colors to him. And too? Nemesis? Nemesis oh. is. The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Erith Sea. Yes. And there is only one place for them to go. Yet he will not dare unleash such power. <laughs> no matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Commence the assault on Bionis. Ooh, fun. Okay. Hmm, we've got some fun stuff coming up. Y'all ready for this? Now that I've had a drink, I am. <laughs> oh. Can this be true? It will happen soon. I saw Melia. She was fighting a battle against a Mekon with a strange group of arms. Yes. That sword, could it be the... Could it possibly? And that location, was it... The vision is a sign. By your will, it can be changed. Hmm. For now, we must consider all things. Everything. The capital. And the lives of our people depend on it. Wow! What? Take a look at that! A high end to your air show! Bird people fly higher than not one bird! Oh, yeah. So... The, um... Shook! I think that's Melia up there. Oh, I'll tell I'll tell this story afterwards because I just remembered something that I saw earlier today. By the authority of our divine ancestors, I, Melia Antiqua, am honored to accept the responsibility of becoming your next benevolent ruler. Should I be deemed unworthy of this calling? or fail to protect the ancestors or the Bionis, I promise here and now to throw myself on the mercy of you, the people. Most majestic. That fragile girl in the forest is a distant memory. But which one is the real Melia? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. 
I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. No, it's not like that. They're one and the same girl. I think. <laughs> it's not like that. It's definitely like this. I think. <laughs> That's very shulk. And what did you see, Alvis? Oh, it's you. Don't play games. No need to be angry. I only wanted to analyze the boy. Which was the point, no? <laughs> I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. change and a new paint job. <laughs> we don't need her. Look at me. Look at me, goody two-shoes. Let's just see if you hold back the screams when his blade gets a taste of you. I love a warm welcome. Let's settle this machine to machine. So they've got a new crown princess. Three cheers for Melia. Yay, right. Melia. But we're still no closer Yay, to Melia. that murdering faced Mechon. Yay, Yay, Yay Melia. Once we reach Prison Island, we'll get our chance. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on that last I one. <laughs> trying to figure out the timing. <laughs> Shulk, man. Maybe we can still persuade Big Wings. Melia's crown princess <sighs> now. I reckon the Emperor might change his mind. Maybe. Ryan, the Emperor's request was clear. Give him time. There's more to this island than we know. Things are at play here that reach beyond our understanding. Right. Ricky and friends <laughs> visit Melly now. Hey, the adults projector just pops. decided to go into maximum Ricky overdrive for some reason. Melly. Ricky think Melly's sad too. She might like the distraction, all those stiff ceremonial duties. You decide, Shulk. Ricky say yes. Okay, so. So, two things. First of all, um, so there was recently a, um, <clears throat> a Xenoblade Chronicles character popularity poll done on Twitter, and the results were kind of surprising. Oh. Would you like to have a guess at the top 10? Um Ricky Ricky. Uh, is this his name Ricky Ricky or is it just Ricky? Just Ricky. Ricky. Um Melia Dunban. I don't know after that. Was that guess for top 3? Those are the top 3 you think? Yes. Okay. Uh who do you think is in 10th place? Shulk. No. Really? Zeke. Who's Zeke? Zeke von Genbo. Oh, I thought we were just talking about this game. Chaos. No, okay. no, no. We're talking about Whoa. all of Xenoblade. All right. Yeah. And then, then give me the full list. Ninth place, Mithra. Really? Eighth place, Malos. Huh. Seventh place, Melia. 
Sixth place, Shulk. Hmm. What do you think the top five are? Um, in that case, they're going to put Tora at number one for gosh knows what reason. <laughs> um, and then Rex, you because people can't me. be trusted to make good decisions. <laughs> I don't know past that. You are actually completely off. Well, I expect you to be. It all happened so fast. What a stunning garden. The arrangement, so, the when the colony fifth place, Rhine. My late mother adored this place. Fourth place, late sad anime Often man. Okay, okay. Highness, the first is not Third place. Mother. Members of the Imperial family Alvis. take two wives, huh. one Homs, one High Entia. Second My place, second consort. Amalthus. Amalthus? Really? Yes. Melia. <laughs> Melia live here? Yes, and the Ricky. first place... Since I was young, I cannot walk outside I can't tell you, you that. Now, so this garden gives because me it's relief. a spoiler. What's wrong with how you look? But they got 341,045 votes. Wow. <laughs> different ways, different morals. <laughs> okay. So that's why you wear a mask in public. Yes. Shulk, in less than an hour, there will be a banquet in the palace. I would like you all to come. Oh, Ricky's so hungry, he could even eat Smelly or Luca. <laughs> There'll be plenty to eat. Finally, some decent grub. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. What's on the menu? Any high end your specials? Do not embarrass me at this dinner. Expectations lead to disappointment. We are talking about Ryan. Savage. I have much to prepare. I will have some on call for you later. We can't wait. Is there something wrong? No. You are a funny one. Uh, Emperor! Okay. Hazard a guess at where Rex fell. I'll tell you right now, there it were 128 be. characters. 128 that where were he sold. No. He ended up in 30th Another place. Vision. He belongs 128. Uh, yeah, I'm really hard on Rex, but <laughs> who is at the bottom? At the very bottom, <laughs> Bose Lowe's. If you're wondering who that is, I don't know either. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, some of the placings on this are kind of strange to me, but who knows? Incoming buttheads! Report! Yes, sir. We received a report from our south station. Macron are approaching. Impossible! Kellyan, <laughs> your sister's time has come. Your Majesty. There is only one course of action left. <gasps> we will not waver from our destinies. Father! Kallion, take charge of the capital's defenses. I will go to Prison Island. Tell me. What happens to my father? He... 
It follows my last vision. We're on Prison Island. Metal Face and your father are... Prison Island? Why would father go there? No! I must go to the palace. I must stop him. I will go to the audience chamber. Wait, Melia. We're coming too. You gonna play the game? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, I need to... Nope, not change equipment. Change party out. Uh, melee, and I take Skulk. <coughs> okay. Yeah, he got mad at me when I called him that the first time. Did I? Yep. No. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Now that I have. Now that I have my my little friends back, uh, I'm gonna go do a silly thing first, oh. or at least uh, uh, attempt to screw <clears throat> the story. We're doing something else. Yes, precisely. Uh, yes, here. Okay. Okay, so I think is it back on our attacking? Time to glitch through a door. Yes, precisely. Um, except now that I'm thinking about it, my brain is telling me that that's not the right door and that. I am silly. And now, my brain is confused. Well, at least I won't be the only one looking silly during this recording session. Hmm? At least I won't be the only one looking silly during this recording session. <laughs> um... Grab, grab the wall, please, Rip. Melia. Melia, Melia, Melia. Why did you not grab the wall? I am concerned for your mental health, Melia. Do you need a hug? Ah, who cares? I would hug her anyways, even if she doesn't need one. But I mean, if she didn't want one, hopefully that's a different story. <laughs> nope. I would still hug her. Mm. <laughs> that's verging on inappropriate behavior. Your mom's verging on Yo, I don't want to get hashtag canceled here on YouTube. Uh, hang on. I want to make sure these idiots get on the wall. Get on the wall! Get on the wall! Get on the frickin' wall! Thank you. <laughs> and Don Van gets off. <laughs> uh, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are they so stupid? Yeah, this is not the place, is it? Nope. Okay. Uh, hang on. So where exactly is it that I need to go then? You guys gonna follow me? Now can you get over there fast enough? Can I? It's a good question. I don't think I did. Okay. So that's 
I think not the place. But where is the place? Is the question. I cannot remember. I cannot recall. Let me look it up. Give me a minute. Okay. While I do this, I can tell you the other little story that I had. While we're just standing here looking at the yeah. three characters just in their idle poses. Yeah, why not? I don't know, because we want to make good <clears throat> content. Um, so... So, basically, um, the well, oh, what am I trying to say? Um, Please. Oh, right, 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 right. I remember now. Okay, so the uh, the voice actor for Pyra and Mithra, uh -huh. Sky Bennett, uh -huh. she posted on Twitter today, oh, just kind of out of the blue, that she has been working on a voice acting project. Oh. And she said that her throat was very sore because this voice acting project involved a lot of shouting. Interesting. So what do you think the odds are of getting Pyra and or Mithra in Smash? Um... Not towards there, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Their abilities would be hard to map as they involve a second person, and we all see how well that goes with ice climbers. <laughs> well, it doesn't, not, not, necess not necessarily. I mean, you could make them as a, you could make them as a sort of I deal swear. with like. If they give us a Smash character that requires quick time events, that would be bad. That would be funny. Um, no, what I was going to say is they could do something like um, <clears throat> like what they did with Zelda and Sheik in Brawl, where you can like transform between... Uh, between Zelda and Sheik, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So you could have different abilities or something on um, on one versus another. I don't know, I guess I don't know how that'd work. But I also want different characters in Smash, so. Yeah, I know. You want, um. There we go. Uh, <laughs> well done. I just want the knight so bad. I know. I know you do. <laughs> well then. Is that just OP equipment on Melly? Alright. 
so first I swap back to Melee. And then... Okay, what did I get? Did I get the boots? Grace shoes, yes. Cute boots. Look, no, look at the stats. What the flip? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well then. <laughs> that is an OP. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't die, please. <laughs> this is not the most op this is not the most OP thing. There's another thing that gives or there's another um whatchamacallit? Please. Oh, she's not wearing anything on her Ah, there we go. Ruby glasses. Look at them stats. Yes. Ether wow. up five, ether up five, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty stuff. And they have one freaking level 36 in here to guard the treasury. That's... Which which you really shouldn't be able to get into until you're like level 90-ish. And why do they have it's one like level 30 It's like a super guardian. end game quest to get to, to like get the thing that you need to like actually open that door <laughs> they just have a level 36 guarding it well that's silly it is silly I like it alright now that I've done that now that I have thoroughly broken the game back to you know now, back, playing the game back to doing uh, story things um, where do I need to go? Where does it want me to go? Audience chamber, I believe. Audience Unless chamber? Unless you're not supposed to make it there. Audience chamber. Life is good. I have an OP melee now. <clears throat> All right. Whew. I was... I really didn't think that I was actually gonna be able to get in there. Yeah, it took a while. I'm to gonna it be. Off. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think what happened is I think Shulk got stuck on that oh. little ledge. I think he was trying to move sideways, but he couldn't, uh. and his AI wasn't smart enough to move him down and over. So I think That's he hilarious. just stayed there. Good on you, Skulk. Skulking in the corner. Yep. That's what he does. Allowing you to just be game breaking. Pretty much. Uh, where am I going? This way. The stairs. <clears throat> so. Yeah. So there's another one of those little treasury rooms in the at the sororal statues that I was trying to to get into. I oh. never could actually manage to get myself in there. Which is kind of depressing. But... Anyways, let's go up here. And say hello! Brother! Where is father? Melia. The Imperial Staff, it's... So father has gone. I... Kalian. The Emperor has proceeded to the island alone, for the sake of the Empire. Why did you let him go alone? Father! His Majesty is fully aware. Alvis. Of what will happen to him, and what he must do before then. You saw something. I did, during our ancient divination ritual. If he knows, then why? Because he is the ruler of the Imperial family and all the High Entia. We must respect his decision above all else. But that doesn't mean... Trust him, Shulk. His fate was decided long ago. No! Can I just say that Melia looks super cute Shulk, with glasses? But 
Dunban. <laughs> Respect. Have I expressed my love for Melia? Uh, Astral here just wanting to give head pats to Melia. Oh. You too, Melia. I would love to head pat her. Your father is going to I would give her so many head pats. Dunban. There's only one thing to do. Are you with me? Of course. But you can't. We are Homs. Do what you must. But your laws don't concern us. My apologies, Dunban. No apologies needed. So, Melia, what's it to be? We go to Prison Island. Oh, yeah. I just love Dunban's. Suck it. We're doing it anyways. Yeah. Just F you. We don't care about your laws. I'm a strong, independent Captain Destiny. We've we've graciously accepted your hospitality, and we're just gonna fragrantly just blow off your 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 laws and traditions like we do. Yep, pretty much. Oh my gosh! Oh, we can't even fast travel. Okay, I forgot about that bit. Okay, are you not allowed to fast travel now, or? Uh. Just for, just for right now. Okay. <clears throat> I think it wants us to walk out of the palace. So you don't mess the cutscene trigger. Yeah. Stairs. Who needs them? Yeet! Splish. Oh, look at that movement. So much time saved. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the schmooves. Did, are those purple lights new? Yeah, I like them. Oh yeah, so 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 we're currently recording in the uh, the theater room at my parents' house. We've got a big big screen now, big projector screen and everything. And if we have an echo, that's why we which explained is... that in the last episode we recorded, which may <clears throat> post after this episode. Yeah. By the way, we're so... in a different recording setup temporarily between yes. between Ashford's little essentially apartment and moving new house. out of my apartment and moving into my house which is currently in the process of being purchased but until then I have to uh, live at my parents house for a couple weeks um, because I, I did not realize time. how long loans take to process <laughs> it's a long time it's like a month especially when dirtbag HOAs are involved yeah yeah, they suck. Um, but, yeah, no, things are better now. Um, Unmanned craft built by ancient High Entia. Is it too much to hope this is the last of them? Ginormous things at 12 o'clock! Ancient creatures that were sealed within Prison Island. Mm. They have us in their sight. And they are gorgeous. Look at those wings. They must be our target's pets. Perhaps. Let's see how they like this. Oh, they've made the Necon look so pretty. Okay, day. Time to go. Oh, why is Earth Sea so pretty? Why is everything in this game so pretty? Ah! Prison Island is just ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I. <laughs> you don't have to be. Do I love this game so much. But first, we must unlock. It's a seals. problem. Seals. But it's not a problem. We need to unlock two seals to reach Prison Island. Then a door will appear before us, showing the way. Got it. Move everyone. What was I saying about? What got me? Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the so the reason I brought up the whole 
Um, freaking. Oh, does this tell me exactly Are we talking what transport? The I'm popularity in? contest, or no, 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 no. The uh, the purple smash. lamps. Oh, never mind. On the walls of the, um, the palace. The palace, yeah. So for the longest time, this theater room. So when we first built it, we put in these cyan oh, light that's bulbs. Right. We had these cyan light bulbs, and there were so there's four lamps, two on each wall. And each lamp had two bulbs in them, two of these cyan light bulbs. And so we basically, <laughs> the light bulbs, I mean, we built the house like 15 years ago, I think. Yeah. But so the light bulbs just slowly started to go out one by one. And for the last, I swear, like, last four years, there's just this one bulb in one of the lamps that was still hanging on. This is one pathetic little half-burnt-out cyan light bulb that still made light. And it finally burnt out the other day. So we went and got purple light bulbs instead. Uh, that was a and so cutest way to reach that story. What do you mean? It was just funny how we like we started the day on the purple lambs, and then just slowly got back to them. Uh, just, yeah, I the, no. <laughs> the, the path of the conversation funny. That's the, that's how our conversations go. What can yep. we say? Yep. We are not particularly capable of having cohesive conversations, but they're fun. So uh, look at this guy. So we so we allow the conversations to go that way. See what I? <laughs> I'm very easily distracted. Sorry, smacking the mic again. So we thought. So my parents. So I, I'm very easily distracted. My parents used to think I had ADD when I was a kid. So they would give. So they got me this medicine to help me with my ADD, quote unquote, right? And it didn't help at all because. I was just still perpetually distracted. So they got me stronger medicine. Oh, wow. Which, because I didn't have ADD, instead of, you know, like, being helpful, uh, it just made me fall asleep mm. in class, and then all my teachers would get mad at me. <laughs> and be like, he's the worst student. He just falls asleep in class all the time. And the parents like, stop falling asleep in class. And I'm like... But I'm so sleepy. Ah! So funny story. One of my wife's um, earlier memories. One of, of your wife's? My wife's, yes, yes. Her earlier memories of you um, would be in. I'm not sure if I should use his real name. Yeah, just 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 say what class it was. Um, I'm not sure what I, class it was. I'm I pretty sure where, it was. I know where grade, this story is going. Tenth yeah. grade Socratic. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and oh, this, ten, oh, tenth grade Socratic. Okay. I believe so. With uh, I don't know if, what a good code word for him would be. It's the bad one. <laughs> um, he reportedly since um. No, no. You mean eleventh? You mean eleventh grade? Maybe eleventh grade Socratic. Yeah. yeah junior year. Yeah. Junior year. Mm -hmm. Um. Or he just perpetually falls asleep, and he'd shout at you. And one day, um, we'll have to get her to tell the story because she has a, a very stark memory <laughs> of just like uh, him saying, "Astral, Astral, slams hand down on desk, out, <laughs> get out." And, and then after that, he so never I mentioned. So I did, <laughs> and I went out. And I went into my car and went to sleep. <laughs> yeah, Kitty Kit says she never knew where you went after that. <laughs> but then after that, he never mentioned it again, and you fell asleep every time. <laughs> yep. And yep. I passed that class with flying colors. There was, I, I, I mean, we had kind of this this war going on because that class was right after lunch 
So I would run to the gas station and get food at the gas station, come back, and eat it in his class, mm. and then throw it away and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, he was also the worst. Yeah, no, yeah, no, he was not great. Um, but there was, I remember there was one day, there was one day when, when he was going off, when he was teaching, I can't remember what book it was. I think it, I think it might've been some boring I, ass book. Probably. I, I think, I think it might've been all's quiet on the Western front, ah. um, which is a good book by the way. Um, one of like the few I've actually read. Yeah, and, of the ones we are supposed to. Yeah, S and and so he's just so he's just talking about this book, right? And and I am just like kind of taking a nap, and of course that pisses him off. So he's like. He's like, you know, wake up and tell me about this book. And so I woke up, uh, summarized the entire book in great detail, and went back to sleep. Which I imagine pissed him off. Oh, he was so mad. He was so mad. He's the kind of, well... That's what you get for trying to publicly embarrass a student. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially a especially a student who who basically has like the highest grade in your class because all he because all he did in that all he did in that class basically was talk about stuff that I already knew about because I really like history especially military history yeah and so talking about freaking freaking world war one world war two i probably know more than he does about it honestly but he uh, did I, I might uh temper that with especially in the field of naval military history oh yes 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 for no particular reason at all you know cough cough what was your ranking in azure lane uh uh, I mean, hi. Wasn't there a while there where you were? I mean, currently. I mean, it depends what you. Well, not. not it depends not what you. I think at one point you had like an absurdly high ranking in Azure yeah, Lane. It, it well it depends what you consider as ranking. Um, because I, because this morning when I checked, I was number one on the PvP leaderboards. And num and I'm tied for number one for like collection percentage because I have every single ship. Well then, <laughs> I don't have a problem. You have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you stopped playing, huh? Oh, like a little while ago, you told me like, yeah, no, um, what's it called? It's now the game. Um, <laughs> Ark Knights? Oh Arc yeah, Knights. no, I spend I spend more time on Ark Knights than I do Azure Lane. Man. How on earth have you maintained the number one ranking and not play I mean, the game as much I mean, anymore? I mean, I don't have I don't have the highest level of people, but but like being top of PvP is yeah. I mean, the know. PvP is not hard. Um, yeah. I mean, I just have, like, I probably have, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe 45 ships oathed at this point. Ooh, that was a much nicer effect than it used to be. Um, but... Uh, where is that Central Seal Island? Uh, no, 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 not that. Dang it! Uh, did I not get a? Do I not have a landmark for Central Seal? Oh, I do. 
There we go. Other island, and then that'll be the end of this episode, I think. Um. Yeah, no. There's a guy. Um, there's a guy who's also in our guild on Azure Lane. Who has maxed out his commander level and has oathed every ship. Wow. Every single ship. Wow. Which, by the way, that's a lot. So, like, out of curiosity, has, like, the dev team mentioned or contacted y'all at all? Because... Uh, yeah, no, they... They tweeted something about that guy, like, yesterday. When he, po when he posted a video of him just scrolling down through, like, 300 ships that all are oathed. And How like, long have you held the top spot, spot on the PvP leaderboards? Hmm? How long have you held the top spot on the PvP uh, leaderboards? Pretty much since day one. I mean, I typically... I mean, I bounce around... How on earth have, like, you I've, not personally been invited to Azure Lane events? Uh, I don't know, because I don't really talk about it much. Well, sad. Or, like, stream anything that I do. I don't know. I bounce, ar I bounce around... Basically in like the top thousand on that typically. Oh you bounce around, so yeah. okay. So yeah. Um yeah, I have I I usually I usually end some I usually end somewhere in the top ten like every other season. Every other PvP season which is like two weeks okay but rest of the time i'm typically just like more in the top hundred ish <clears throat> depends how depends how much i like you know bother to actually play and do it and like pay attention to it yeah because <laughs> sometimes i just don't care That other guy already died? That was fast. Uh, uh, and red. And no continue? Okay. Dad. And boop. And. I need, I need to get. Uh, I need to get my. Um, I like to have, I like to have Electric up on Melia just to boost her summon bolt mm -hmm. since it's the most, just, it's so spammable and so incredibly strong as well. Like it does so much damage and the cooldown is nothing at all. Oh, this whole area is just achingly pretty. Achy Bracky Heart. Mm-hmm. Is that the name that, of the quest? Achy Bracky Heart? Something like that? I think so. <clears throat> something like that. Oh, hey, look at that. I think that the name of the quest should be Harder Daddy Harder. Wow. <laughs> what? You know, I was thinking of a joke... <laughs> about like tacos and I was trying to find a silly name for the second one for these guys and then suddenly Harder Daddy just just enters in one of my ears. How how did you not expect that when talking about Bracadillos? Um, you know <sighs> It's not that I didn't expect it. <laughs> it's just every time it gets more and more awful. What you say. I think you never... Should, you should really be expecting it by now. Never should anyone have to endure Harder Daddy. 
But, you know, we all make choices. But how were you not expecting it? <sighs> it's a legitimate question. Why the F should I have to expect harder, Daddy? <laughs> Uh, because that is so, you brought again. up Brachidios and I'm me. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say anymore. You just just break me every time. I don't I don't know why. I don't know what you have a problem with. <sighs> just uh, just. Just, just all you get to hear is the sound of my disappointment. This game is just gorgeous. That scenery. <laughs> I just wanted something pure and wholesome like tacos. No pure and wholesome for you, sir. But tacos, <laughs> Astral. Tacos. I don't even know what to try anymore. <laughs> oh, tacos sounds delicious. Tacos right are now. fetching amazing. They, they are. I love tacos. Okay. We can stop right here. So there's a place in the city where Kitty Kit and I live called Don Joaquin's, and their tacos are amazing, and I got to have them for lunch, and that is my story. Mm, you'll have to show them. Show me that. Anyways. Anyways, yeah. That's all we have for that's all we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Let us know what your favorite daddy is in video games. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you no. guys next time. Take care.